of working with IDX Broker is they have some really cool plugins and one of the plugins that we've installed in your site is called Impress Listings. Um, if you don't have this plugin you can come to plugins right here and click on add new and you will search the WordPress um, repository for Impress Listings and install it and activate it. So once that's activated you're going to see this little section over here on the left called listings. And this is really cool because you have some a couple of different options. You can actually add listings to your site that uh, maybe are not in the MLS or that you want to create a featured page. And my favorite thing to do is to create a one-page landing page for a property so that you can use it to advertise um, on your signs. You can use it as a selling point to your sellers. But they turn out really beautifully, and I'll show you real quick what they look like. This is actually, it also has a plugin that you can install, or it also has a part, a widget that you can use on your site, but we use the IDX Broker widgets. So this is a one page landing page on this one property, and it makes it look very beautiful. Um, you have sections with a description, the details, photos, photo gallery, which once clicked on shows in a slideshow format. virtual tour if you have one you can add that in here schools and neighborhoods you can add your own information in here and showings we can add a form so that people can fill out the form if they want to request a showing and then going back to the description at the bottom of the page you also have the map with the location which I just rolled over and scrolled so it's not going to show the right there it is this is what it was supposed to be on and then your footer with all of your information in here. So this is a great uh, little tool. You can even get a domain name, let's say uh, 2013 John J. Court and dot com, and you can forward it in GoDaddy to this URL, and then you can use that on your signs. So it's kind of a really cool listing tool that uh, you can use within your Agent Evolution WordPress theme. So. One of the, also the cool things again that it connects to your IDX broker account. So you can come in here and you can click on import IDX listings. Now your site is already connected to your IDX broker account via your API key. So you're going to come in here, select all and import listings. If you want to only select one at a time, you can just click on one. So now I've gone ahead and imported the listings. It might take a few minutes for these to all become imported, but let's go ahead and look. So here's the one, Thornberry Place. Now it's only going to import the information that it can through your MLS. We're going to click on Edit. So what you want to do after it's been imported is come in here and you want to add more information here for your description. You want to fill out all of these fields that you can here. You want to add your extended details here. So fill in, it's best to fill in as many of these as you possibly can. Um, you can put some text here to display instead of the price. So for instance, we'll go back. Um, you have your price here. If you want to display some text there instead, you can. Custom overlay text, uh, something that, it's an overlay that shows up on the top. Leave it right here. Oops. And then your photo gallery, um, literally we just used the media files, add media, and created a photo gallery. So you add it in and then you can edit each item, add a caption to it, um, add a description of every item there. If you have a virtual tour, you can embed that code here. The map options, you're going to put the latitude and longitude here, so that's easily done. You just go to Google dot com slash maps and you can type in your address so this is Waxaw
So once you have that, you can copy the latitude and longitude, which are here and here. And you'll notice it has a 17 zoom after it. So I copy both of these. And then I come in here. And then I will paste. Oops. Let's do that again. And then I'll cut the second part out and delete the comma, paste here. You can also click on share, embed, make it large or maybe a custom size, copy, and paste that here. If you have a contact form, you're going to put your short code here. Um, again, additional details. Try to give descriptions of all these items. That's really good for you. And then down here, um, if you want to, this is basically your disclaimer. You want to add that information in here. And down here, you can add a custom, um, you can add your keywords, but you can also customize the title and the description and uh, meta tags. So, all of that done. The last thing that you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to add a featured image, which should be a large, high resolution image because that is going to be this image right here and you want something that's high resolution so it looks nice so make sure you use a high resolution photo there um, you can also add certain features here this is a good thing to do you have property types so you want to choose your property type your location um, status here these are your taxonomies and you can actually add more if you want um, features are just different things that we add like for instance it has a hot tub um, it has a uh, first floor laundry or first floor master bedroom. You can add different little features here. This is good because they're good for tags and for SEO purposes. And so once you're all done with this, um, I'll show you how to do taxonomies in a moment. You're going to go ahead and, oh, one more thing. You're going to come up here and choose your template. So you should have some templates down here in your um in your theme you should be able to choose these if not let us know they are available on uh, agent evolution for I believe $11.99 a piece or $13.99 one of the two so you can choose the templates the one that we are using right here I believe is the elegant template it's either elegant or luxury so you're going to choose your template here and then you're going to update it All right, so once it has gone ahead and um, posted your update, you're going to right click here and open a new tab. And then here you can see the property. So this is what it looks like before you apply a theme. So it's not the same as if um, you have a theme on it. So I went ahead and actually updated the child theme on this, which is curb appeal to the most recent. And now you can see the new child uh, theme, the child theme curb appeal actually includes all of these templates for you. So let's go ahead and choose Eloquent and I will update again. And now we'll go ahead and just refresh this. And now you have the elegant theme. So if you want some customizations for different colors or different styles, um, you can let us know. We can definitely do those. I'm going to go ahead and update it to luxurious. And we'll check that one out. Now we'll refresh it. And here's the luxurious. So obviously there's a little bit of uh, work that needs to be done here to make it so that it uh, looks right, but this I've just kind of imported it real quick so you can just let us know if you have any problems with it. Then um, the other thing I wanted to show you was you have your locations, these taxonomies right here. If there's a different status or let's say location, you can add new location here. very easily. 
um, property types you can add new property types in here as well and if you want to add an entirely new taxonomy which this whole section is a taxonomy so for instance the way that this benefits you is in widgets let's go to widgets real quick you will have the ab ability just like this site did to take these and put them on your site. They look a little bit different than the IDX broker and remember that these are not uh, pulled in through the MLS. They are imported via the MLS but they're not updated or changed via the MLS so you have to update these and handle these yourself. But there is a way to put this here and also you have your search start your home search. So right now the home search can only be um, you could they anybody come into your site that we use this home search and it's only searching the listings that you've imported they can search by locations property types and features which are the same thing as your taxonomies so you want to register taxonomies here you have them right here you can add subdivision And when you do this and add more, then you'll notice they come right here. So maybe Valentine is a subdivision. And then if you want to edit the ones that are currently there and remove items, like let's say you don't want commercial in here, you can come over here. You can see now subdivisions is added. You can go to property types and you can delete commercial. And then it goes away. So this is pretty awesome. It's a great tool. It's wonderful because you can again make these one page landing pages and they look beautiful and work beautifully and they're a great benefit for you and a great selling point. So awesome tool. Kudos to IDX Broker on this one. If you have any questions, please give us a call or shoot us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Thanks for watching. Yeah.